It's an exciting Sunday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. So for the Mavericks, their last game, a win against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And that was a close call. They pulled it out with a win and just two points at that. But it wasn't easy. Well, you, you saw how dialed up they were from distance. The defense just couldn't get out to everyone. And that explains their three-point percentage. They had more than a few players giving the defense absolute fits from range. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. Marcus Morris is out there with Marjanovic. And it's Brunson in at the one spot. There's Bembry. Outside Holiday. Passes it to Finney Smith. Six to shoot. The three. The shot. No good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Hangs in deep. Hardaway drops it in the basket. Well, I think Hardaway Jr. has the kind of athleticism that allows him to be a contributor on the backboards. Holiday, the pass to Stewart. Fires top of the key. Off the left rim and out. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. On the wing, Morris. Runs in the pass to Morris. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Doncic, no good. And here's Las Vegas. Here's Finney Smith. A three-pointer is right on target. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. To the middle. And Doncic throws it down. I'll tell you this. Luka Doncic will never turn down an opportunity to finish at the rim. He's elite and loves those opportunities. Holiday gets the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Now, here's Okongwu. And Finney Smith gets it to go. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Back to Brunson, and he uses the glass on the layup. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. On the wing, Holiday. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Holiday's got his third bucket of the night. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. And it's Doncic missing. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Las Vegas. Pass to Stewart. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Marcus Morris picks one up there. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Las Vegas shooting their first free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. so he makes both from the line. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Morris finds Marjanovic. Now, here's Doncic. Back to Marjanovic. And Marjanovic with the slam. You know, there's an unselfishness to Luka Doncic and a pretty pass right there. And Doncic was part of a draft day trade that so far seems to have worked out pretty well for both teams. That's exactly right. Doncic's Greg was selected by Atlanta with the third pick. He was then quickly shipped to Dallas for the fifth overall pick, which turned into Trey Young, plus a future pick. Neither of these young men wasted any time putting their stamp on the NBA. I do think their futures will always be discussed in connection with the other. Here's Holiday. Tim Hardaway making his last shot. Holiday. 
And Stewart gets it to go. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Runs in the pass to Morris. And here is Doncic. The shot's good. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Pass to Stewart. It's rebounded by Brunson. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Here's Doncic. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Here's Holiday. No good that time. Mavericks leading by four. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Here's Doncic, and it falls over the rim and in. Doncic has got 11 points. There's a savviness innate to Luka Doncic. He has played this game for such a long time. Pick and roll? Yeah, that's in my bag. And first time out of the game called for Las Vegas. And it was interesting how the Dallas franchise sold its fans on Doncic. Ownership told him, think of a 6'7 Steve Nash. Isn't quite the shooter Steve was, but is only a teenager. Great vision where he can really pass it. And it turns out Doncic is all of that and more. Stein, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Maxi Kleba comes in for Hardaway, and Curry subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Now here is Holiday. Six points for him. Some nice passing by Las Vegas here. Shoots. Las Vegas again missing. And even Nash himself called Doncic a dream prospect. Yeah, he said Luka was big and mobile enough in the modern game can guard multiple positions, has a skill set, a winning mentality, and those leadership qualities. Steve Nash sounding like a future GM. Holiday against Morris. The pass to Kleba. Here's Curry, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. Well, similar to his brother, Steph, Seth is a knockdown shooter. This guy's a crafty combo guard with a number of tricks up his sleeve. And that one misses. Diaz checked in for Morris. And he's good on the second. And with a frequency of three-point shots skyrocketing, Greg, does the drastic change concern you? And should something be done to, to lessen the dependence these teams have on threes? It's crazy. I mean, we're starting to see teams take more threes than twos. You know, mm. some have said maybe limit fouls on three-pointers to only two free throws. Uh, that might eliminate some of the flopping on those long-range attempts, but I really feel like this is the evolution of the game, and that three is going to be vital. The Mavericks have converted one of two free throws so far today. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. The 
first one falls. Well, Luka Doncic, from the moment he stepped between the lines in the NBA, has flashed incredible potential and skill. Both good from the line that time. Las Vegas trails by 12. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Las Vegas calls timeout. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, here's what Las Vegas' head coach had to say earlier. They really don't want this game to come down to the wire. Coach said Luka Doncic is so good in the clutch, either shooting it, driving it, or passing it. They'd like to avoid that scenario altogether. So that means they have to be comfortably ahead in the fourth quarter. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Look at some of the numbers for him. Anderson finds Holiday. to the inside, banked in off the glass. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Curry passes it to Kleba. Here's Collie Stein. On Chich's left side. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. To the paint. Here's Gafford. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Gafford's got his second bucket of the game to go. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Outside Curry. Pass to Doncic. Down to five on the shot clock. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Doncic has got 18 points in the game. Pass to Gafford. Jackson with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Bradley against Kurt. And here are the Mavericks now. They're on a 20 to 6 run. He gets it in there. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. The Mavericks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And Las Vegas making a change here. Wilson's checked in. Las Vegas trails by 15. Pass to Jackson. Clock at six. Right side, Wilson. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Inside. Here's Doncic. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Doncic has got 20 points. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Gafford, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Gafford's got six points. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yep, that one goes in there. Well, you know that Seth Curry will be aggressive regardless of where he is on the floor. Nice look inside there. 
Jackson passes to Wilson. Here's Gafford. Cauley Stein defending. Shoots a fader. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. He's got eight. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 to start. And Doncic gets it to go. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Now, here's Anderson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Jackson against Doncic. That's off his fourth miss in 13 attempts. It's three on three on the fast break. There's the triple. Jackson misses. Mavericks leading by 13. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Curry passes to Cauley Stein. Now here's Kleba. Fires the three. That one no good. From deep three-point range, and so it's the Dallas Mavericks looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels, and it's gotten them up big. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a comfortable margin for the Mavericks here, guys. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Mavericks. On the court for Dallas here in the second. Curry and Doncic, the guard pair. Avdia out there with Maxi Kleba. And it's Cauley Stein in at the five. I love the aggressiveness of Seth Curry right there. Despite that frame, guys, he is not afraid of getting fouled. Two shots. The free throw drops for Curry. And both free throws good for Curry. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Outside Brent. Shoots from 14. No good that time. And it's Dallas the other way. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Bembry. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Brantley can't get it to go. Mavericks leading by 17. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. And here's Avdia. The three for Doncic. Sinks the three-pointer. Doncic has got five points in the quarter. He nailed two from distance in the opening period. Now gets this one. Bradley dishes to Anderson. The pass to Gaff. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. What energy on the offensive board. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Las Vegas shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. So for Las Vegas, Okongwu comes in for D.J. Wilson. And Dorian Finney-Smith subbed in for Anderson. And the Let's Mavericks shot. will go for a different look here. Marjanovic checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Morris comes in for Maxi Kleba. Tim Hardaway Jr. is checked in for Avdia. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Luka Doncic. And the free throw, no good. Mavericks leading by 18. 
Curry outside. Another three for Dallas. And great job from beyond the arc this quarter. They are now shooting the three at almost 60% for the game. Passes it to Gaffer. Down low. Pembry shot good. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. Now Brunson. Inside. Outside Curry. Lock it to. From deep. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Here's Finney Smith. Hardaway with the steal. And here we go. The Mavericks on a fast break. Offline from the high post. Las Vegas trails by 19. And when you watch Hardaway shoot, one thing that stands out, he has a very quick release. And Greg, that's what makes the jumper very tough to contest, especially when he's dialing it up from range. You have to stay connected to this guy defensively. It's not easy to do with the other weapons on this team. Here's Curry after the basket by Las Vegas. Shoots from 14. Four seconds left. And Marjanovic with the layup. Marjanovic has got his second basket. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Hardaway, no good. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Okungu's shot is good. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Now here's Brunson. Just five to shoot. 14 feet away. Shot clock reset for Dallas. Tries again. Tries yet again. It's deflected. It's two on one. No good from Finney Smith. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. It's blocked, and they get it back. Yep, that one goes. And the Mavericks lead by 17. Yeah, see, Marcus Morris has the physicality and the frame to be able to be a force on the offensive glass. That's nicely done. Bradley passes to Finney Smith. And here is Okongwu, covered by Morris. Here's Benbury. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Stewart's checked in for Las Vegas. Aaron Holiday comes in for Avery Bradley. And Morris has got the ball here for the Dallas Mavericks. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Outside Curry. Now here is Hardaway. From past the arc. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Time out, time out. Outstanding pass on time and on target. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game.
Jackson has checked in for Daniel Gaffer. Dallas leading by 15. Brunson scanning the floor. Pass to Curry. Launches it. Hits it from three-point range. Curry. Curry's got eight points here in this quarter. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc this quarter. Their percentage has been climbing steadily. Holiday against Brunson. He lobs it up. Pembry shot good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Brunson kicks to Hardaway. Outside Curry. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Curry's got 16. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Pass to Bembry. Shot clock at six. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Morris. Finney Smith passes to Stewart. Finished off the break. Eight points for him. Dallas leading by 16. Brunson kicks to Marjanovic. And there's the pass to Morris. Passes it to Brunson. Hardaway with it. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Marjanovic. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Brunson against Holiday. Floats one up. It's rebounded by Dallas. Morris has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Pass to Finney Smith. To the paint. Here's Stewart. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. And the Mavericks call time here. D.J. Wilson, he's checked in for DeAndre Bember. Dennis Anderson in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Maxi Kleba comes in for Marcus Morris. Abdiev's checked in for Hardaway. And Doncic is subbed in for Curry. Here's Holiday. After Luka Doncic's bucket. Lobbed up there for Anderson. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Brunson. Misses off the left iron. Now Las Vegas moving it up. Holiday is running. Pass to Anderson. Here's Stewart. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Here's a look at the schedule now for Dallas. On Tuesday, they'll take on Marc Gasol and the New York Knicks. Then on Thursday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And for that matchup with the Take Blazers, it's Two the shots. second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. And he knocks down the first one. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Brunson. Now the pass to Kleba. Here 
Here's Carly Stein. Passes to Brunson. Off target from three-point range. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Holiday, the pass to Wilson. Six on the shot clock. Jackson dishes to Holiday. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists tonight. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Now here's Carly Stein. Here's Kleba. Pass to Brunson. Over Holiday. Here's Doncic. That's tipped. Doncic with the steal, and he comes up with the deuce. Doncic has got nine points in the quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Pass to Anderson. On the wing, Holiday. Brunson covering, and that one drops. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Kleba finds Coley Stein. Now, Brunson. Anjic outside. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Kleba with the bucket. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the half. Holiday against Brunson. Anderson outside. Here's Stewart. They get it again. Here's Brunson. Good. Nice job down low. Brunson's got his second basket of the night. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Dallas. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And we'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He ended up with 31 points, five assists, and two steals. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? And when Luka is feeling it, you're in for a long night. Such a clever player on the offensive end. He's been toying with defenders and finding ways to score. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, they got a ton of issues to work out. Allow way too high a percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense. No discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. with the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. What a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters, just disrupting everything. Well, it was about effort and anticipation. Hard to get into an offensive rhythm when you know this guy is lurking. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court right now for Las Vegas. They've got Okongwu. And it's Holiday in at the point. And here's Holiday after Tim Hardaway made that last three-pointer. That's a floater go. A shot that time. Not on target. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Hardaway with a wide open look. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Three points. Doncic has got six assists now in the game. Holiday up top. Guarded by Hardaway. Second chain shot. And the pass to Finney Smith. And here's Holiday. Cranes the three pointer. Holiday's got 12 points in the game. 
Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Marjanovic finds Morris. Now here's Brunson. Doncic outside. To the inside, Marjanovic. And the layup's good off the glass. Eight points for him. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Holiday trying to free himself up. Finney Smith can't get it to go. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Here's Bembry, guarded by Doncic. Holiday surveying the floor. Fails to score here. He has made 5 of 12 to this point. To the middle. Here's Morris. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Holiday against Brunson. Here's Bembry. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Right around three minutes into the second half. Morris with the bucket. Well, you can tell that Mr. Morris doesn't lack for confidence. This guy is ready to time shoot out, as out. soon as it touches his hands. Las Vegas calls timeout. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. This is a timely timeout because this guy is hurting them. They've got to figure it out. Gaffer's checked in for Las Vegas. Avery Bradley comes in for Aaron Holiday. Avery Bradley. Passes it to Gaffer. There's the dish to Bradley. To halt the run. And it's out of bounds to Las Vegas. They'll retain possession. Mavericks making a switch here. Curry's checked in. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot. Five to shoot. That's tipped. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And Morris throws it down. Yes. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Dallas moving it around. And Marjanovic with the slam. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance, the ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Here's Gaffer. He's got 14. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces nothing going their way it's just been one of those games and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them here's finney smith after luka Doncic's bucket here's bradley and that'll be two free throws coming up officials on the call with the foul well you have to admire the way bradley is controlling his body in that instance welcomes the contact with open arms for las vegas they've gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now 
And free throw good from Avery Bradley. How about the remarkable improvement of Avery Bradley over time? Once strictly a dominant defender, this guy can make threes. He can drive the lane. There isn't an aspect of the game where he hasn't grown. And Las Vegas making a change here. Anderson's checked in. So he gets them both. Curry with it. He's got 16. Morris outside. Pass to Marjanovic. Feeds it to Curry. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Outside Bradley. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. And the Mavericks making a change here. Kleba's checked in. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Inside, Gafford, and he takes that one up and powers it through. That's the court vision of Avery Bradley. Remarkable how he finds these wide open teammates on a consistent basis. Curry, good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now here's Anderson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Shooting for Las Vegas, Avery Bradley. Two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Jackson, he's checked in for Las Vegas. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for the Mavericks. All three throws good from Avery Bradley. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Kleba against Anderson. Kleba kicks to Doncic. Rebounded by Jackson. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. This is to Bradley. Jackson against Doncic. Lock at six. Back to Bradley. From deep three-point range. And it goes out of bounds. That one is off Kleba. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. And, of course, there's the Mavericks. And, you know, for the Mavericks, they haven't attracted any serious attention here in the early season. It's, it's been the kind of average start that most had predicted. I do think they're capable of more than what they've given so far. If this coaching staff gets them right on track, and once they get a few more games under their belt, the wins will start to come. And Doncic gets it to go. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. And Doris, as if it were destiny, Kleba grew up in the same hometown as Mavs legend Dirk Nowitzki. And this is a fun and extraordinary story to tell because in 2017, Kleba texted with Nowitzki before signing with Dallas. But though they come from the same town, they didn't know each other until they became teammates. That's extraordinary. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. For Las Vegas, they've knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Abdiaz checked in for Marcus Morris. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. To the inside, and Coley Stein throws it down. 
Macaulay Stein, a tremendous athlete and a dynamic finisher. Count it. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. Cease's man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Now, here's Kleba. And they double up Doncic. Avdia has three pointers off the mark. Pass to Noel. Outside Wilson. Kicks it to Bradley. And the three off target. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. And finished off by Avdia. When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. Anderson in the post. Leave it defending. Shot clock at six. Bradley, that's for two. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Bradley's got six points. What a gorgeous stroke on that jumper. Avery Bradley showing real confidence. Holly Stein finds Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Here's Avdia. Doesn't go for him. And it's Las Vegas the other way. And there's the feed to Bradley. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Eight points for him. You know, you have to like that he's still getting quality touches and delivering now after getting blanked in the first half. Outside Curry. Doncic outside. And they double up Doncic. There's the pass to Cauley Scott. The shot, no good. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Anderson passes to Bradley to the right side. Passes it to Noel. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds to Las Vegas. They'll retain possession. Stewart's checked in for Las Vegas. Aaron Holiday comes in for Bradley. And Dallas with a change here, too. Brunson's checked in. Clock is at three. Here's Holiday. Las Vegas again missing. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And the basket is good. Brunson's got six. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. To the paint, here's Wilson. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Cauley Stein finds Kleba. Brunson, good. Eight points for him. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Here's Stewart. He's got 12. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. For Las Vegas, they've gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Isaiah Stewart at the line for two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. We've got 28 seconds left in the third. Pass to Cauley Stein. Kleba with it. Pass to Brunson. Doncic outside. Five on the clock. And they double up Doncic. Here's Cauley Stein. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Cauley Stein's got six. Listen, we all know Luka Doncic can score, but equally impressive to me is his playmaking ability. This is his first free throw of the game. DJ Wilson. Two shots. Two shots. 
shots. Relax on the first. And the first one drops. He doesn't get the second one. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back right after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. Okay. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the court for the Mavericks. They've got C.J. Miles. Marjanovic is out there with Avdia. Then it's Mannion. Holiday. The rebound by Marjanovic. And here is Mannion. Greg, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that? Or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area. Hey, listen, Kev, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. You've got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. Now here is Holiday. He's guarded close. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Well, great possession there. Anytime you end up at the rim with a high percentage look, perfect. Kicks it to Miles. The pass to Marjanovic. Over Holiday. Goes back up. And the nice bucket inside for Marjanovic. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt. And this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Schofield gets the bucket. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Trains it from beyond the arc. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Down low. And the basket by Smilagic. Smilagic has got his first basket. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Miles finds Marjanovic. Now, here's Avdia. He's covered closely, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing, and the foul goes against Las Vegas. Greg, you know, we're seeing players take control of their free agent destiny. Do players get a bad rap take a break. for that take a break. switching teams? Two shots. It, uh, listen, I think, I don't know if you get a bad rap, but you're going to catch the wrath uh, of the fan base. You think of Paul George uh, and Andy or Katie and OKC and fans, they, they're going to feel jilted. There's no doubt about it. They're going to feel scorned. Uh, yeah. And Las Vegas making a change here. Bembry's checked in. The Mavericks also with a sub. Kids checked in. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Holiday, the pass to Schofield. The kick out to Holiday. A three. 
The Mavericks pull it in. Pass break, Dallas. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Pass to Schofield. Here's Smilagic. And he banks in the layup. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Pass to Mannion. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And so Holiday will bring it up for Las Vegas. Greg, your son's been drafted. You were drafted in the NBA. As you look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't yeah, no that kidding. long ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my night name on draft night. But 91, you know, right? Yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. You were taken out of UNLV 1991, number 12 overall. Remember it like it was yesterday. Now here is Holiday. As to Bembry. Las Vegas needs to get off a shot. Smile a geek. It's rebounded by Dallas. Avdiev's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He dishes it to Kid. Servitas drills the three-pointer. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Now here is Holiday. The pass to Schofield. Over Kid. That's short off the rim. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need to basket. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Kicks to Miles. This is a Demanion. Another three for Dallas. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here is Holiday. Greg, the NBA under Adam Silk has been aggressive looking for ways to enhance the product and attract fans. Where do you fall on that point? push the envelope or don't rock the boat or maybe somewhere in between i think it might be somewhere in between these days people's attentions can be pulled in so many different directions i think they're smart to not rest on their laurels and, and to continue to try to evolve but with that evolution sometimes it's not going to come over as well as they would like but I, i'm a fan of some of the experiments i should say that we've tried thus far and i hope the league continues to push the envelope that's a good thought so it's las vegas now the mavericks making the shot outside holiday avdia with the rebound avdia's got rebound number five here tonight and it's miles missing so it's las vegas now Here's Benbury, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Shooting for Las Vegas, DeAndre Benbury. Taking two shots. Two, two. No good on the free throw. You know, you look at the 2020 class for the Basketball Hall of Fame, Greg, some great names. Headlined by Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant. I mean, historic players. And all the more emotional, Kevin, having Kobe enshrined after his tragic passing. But yes. when you look at the accomplishments of this class, arguably the most decorated 
that the Hall of Fame has ever seen. And Greg, you've gotten a bird's eye view. You've gotten a front court view. You've had a, a chance to, to be alongside these Hall of Fame players. Uh, incredible talents, great people, and, and truly they've been terrific ambassadors for our game. So it's Las Vegas now. Following the missed shot by Willie Cauley-Stein, here's Wilson and the dunk to finish it off. A uh, beauty. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Now here's Kidd. Pass to Mannion. Puts it up from 15. Here's Kidd. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Mavericks, Stanton King taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for. Him. A lot of talk about receding in the playoffs when you got down to the final four teams. If it ensures the two best teams make the finals, it would seem to me, Greg, to be worth it. What about you? You know, it could be. I think about the, the worldwide attention on that championship round, but you got to get the Eastern Conference teams to sign off on that. And, you know, we've seen it happen in the past where the, the power shifts from one conference to the other. But ultimately, nothing better than seeing the two best teams play for it all. Now, here's Brad. A baseline J again, Las Vegas scores. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Now here's Mannion. Servetus, good on the three point shot. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And that goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cauley Stein. Still Las Vegas ball. We've got 155 left in the fourth. Just five on the clock. Bradley. Kidd grabs the board. Pass to Miles. And here is Mannion. The dish now to Kidd. Now well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue. Greg to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump and they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy call. That's his second personal foul. Shooting for Las Vegas, Avery Bradley. At the line for two. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw, good. You know, he doesn't shrink the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Mavericks. And guys, the fast break was run, I thought, beautifully all night by these guys. I think that was a big part of their success. Yeah, they definitely ran the break well. A big advantage in that category. And they continually put pressure on the defense. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Luka Doncic. What a selfless effort tonight. He's done such a great job finding guys in their appropriate spots. Here's Cauley Stein following the score by Avery Bradley. 
17 seconds left in the game. Schofield passes to Noel. For the three, it's not going to go for him. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.